Okay, hello everybody. Uh, welcome to another episode of Healthy Joints and Healthy Life uh, with Dr. Arinola Dada. Um, I have a special guest today. Her name is Dr. O. So Dr. Tululokwe Olabinta. She is with us all the way from Marshall, Texas, pretty close to Dallas. And she is a phenomenal physician. We are going to learn how to live well and long. I have my notes. I have my pen. I am ready. Um, <laughs> Dr. Olabiton. So um, I'm going to have her introduce herself. Uh, but just before we do that, for those who don't know me, my name is Dr. Aminola Dada. I am a rheumatologist. I help people with joint pain become pain free. And people who have autoimmune diseases get their immune systems back on track. So let us welcome Dr. Tulu Lokwe Olabinto to our show. I'm excited to hear about how I'm going to live well and long, because that's something that we all need to start thinking about now. And so Dr. Olabinto, can you please introduce yourself? All right. I, first, I have to say thank you so much for having me here. I am honored to be here, and I love what you do. Um, so my name is Dr. Tolo Labinton. I'm a family physician. I'm also the CEO and co-founder of Living Spring Family Medical Center in Mansfield, Texas. I am also a foodie. Um, I know we're talking about living long and health well, but I want to mention I do enjoy eating. <laughs> um, I'm a mom, a Christian, and I, 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 I'm a wife as well. I also wear many hats and I love improving the quality and quantity of life because I believe life shouldn't be um, drag through, but thrived through. So, yeah. I love that. Thrive through. Okay. So, um, Dr. Labinton, um, tell, you know, you and I have known each other, I think, for probably a number of years now, right? And um, I, I would tell you that her patients absolutely love her, right? They are just a bunch of raving fans, right? So Dr. Labiton has a show where she talks to people about living well. Um, she also has a clinic that's thriving and growing. And she has amazing staff. And that's actually what we're talking about. Um, and how she's managed to get a team of people that are very passionate about caring for patients. So um, Dr. Labiton, can you tell us a little bit about um, just the story of a patient who's had like an amazing outcome um, after the benefit of being in your care. Ah, wow. Um, I like that you mentioned the team because it does take a team effort. Um, but I'll give one story jumps to mind. And this is a patient, the first time I saw her, she had a panic attack or she was having a panic attack. Blood pressure was high, heart rate was high. She had seen a cardiologist and he had referred her to me. And so we talked medications, we talked, okay, what were triggers? And then we talked long-term goals. And I asked her, I mean, the, the truth is what's most important to the patient is usually what drives them to do the things or to make the changes that make for a better quality of life. And so for her, she wanted to be able to go to places and do things she enjoyed without feeling so tense. And so we took care of some of those you know, medications and blood pressure medicine that was given. And then I said, you know what? How about we try some lifestyle changes? And she's like, oh, yeah, I know. Exercise and eat better. And I'm like, well, well, let, let's, let's, let's start a little bit at a time. Um, let's talk about the why. And then let's talk about practical things. And, you know, being able to relate to her, the fact that I enjoy eating food. And yes, I know fried food included. Um, we talked about maybe having someone cheer her on her journey to eating the healthiest way she could. And so we talked about having a health coach. And so this is somebody who would um, meet with her every so often and, um, you know, encourage some of the new habits she was learning. It was a slow process, but let me just wrap this up. Seven, eight months later, she had lost 30 pounds. Wow. Um, she wow. actually was going to run a, um, she was going to do a 5K. She had never thought she would run in the company of other people. She was planning to do this. And you know what actually caught my attention? She said, who I have become is what, what's most amazing. And she's curious to find out what else. And that resonated with me because I've seen my, I mean, just watching my own journey. I'm like, oh my goodness. And, and that, that really encouraged me to know that it may have been a slower process, but she has transformed as a person. Um, and, you know, it, it's, it's, 
she has changed. And so it's easier for her to maintain this new version of herself. All right. I could have given her medicines, more medicines to force the weight loss, to force different things, but she changed her lifestyle and she became a different person. So um, she's rather shy. I'd asked if she would talk about it. And she's like, yeah, not quite. Um, but that, that has been empowering for me because sometimes I'll be honest with you, Dr. Dada, I feel like I'm a nag. I'm saying the same thing over and over again. But to see someone actually make such a transformative change, I mean, I, I keep nagging. <laughs> I keep nagging. I right? love it. You know, um, and that's really, that's so, that's what leads to sustainable change, right? Because you can lose five pounds here, one pound here. You can exercise today, and but it's the person that you become. So she has become someone who exercises. She's the one, she's going to become somebody who's conscious about her food intake, right? And she's seeing the results and it's sustainable. So, which means that Dr. Ola Binta doesn't have to go camp outside her door because she is now self-motivated, right? Yes. To get yes. the results. Amazing. But I would say that also is a lot of work, right, Dr. Ola Binta, for you to be able to get her on board and then both of you working towards these outcomes that she's really enjoying the benefits of. I'll be honest with you, yes, work, but you mentioned something, a good team. So I have a health coach she meets with virtually. We meet every couple of weeks to say, hey, how's it going? What can you tweak? How can I help you make the progress faster or smoother? So it, it's a whole it's a whole team. But when she comes in, hey, look, we did this. Your blood pressure is better. Yay. That's the MA. And then we go and we have a conversation. And then she meets with the virtual coach um, um, virtually in between those visits. So there's someone kind of giving her a high five each step of the way. We all need that positive prayer pressure. Yeah, we, we definitely, we <laughs> definitely do, right? And so I think that's, you know, working with Dr. Alabinto would be where you kind of get that, the coaching, you get the team that really helps you to work. So it's not just one person, it's a bunch of people that you're accountable to, to a little right. bit. But that's at right. the end of the day, you kind of get to where you want to be. So Dr. Labito, tell us, as if we haven't heard already, what makes you passionate about what you do? Ah, I think what finally hit it for me is one, I, I'm owning up to the gift. So I have the gift of compassion. It used to be a burden, um, but I've learned through coaching, through community, through relationships, how to channel that to pour into people without over depleting myself. So it's like a superpower. So that's that's one. So it was a natural gift. So that, that worked out. <laughs> and then two, it's something I know I'm called to do. So when you know that this is what, and I'll be honest with you, it's like, it's like it's my coffee. It makes me feel good knowing that I contributed to someone else's better quality of life. It's like score. So um as a, a mentor of mine, Dr. Winner, who you know, would say, you know, I, I get to replicate myself in others by doing what I do. So it's like, woohoo. <laughs> right. I love yeah. that. I love that. Replicating ourselves in others. Perfect. Um, you know, um, I really, I one of the reasons I've been really looking forward to this meeting is that I'm going to need some pointers, right? So I, and I think everybody that's listening really would like to have, and you know, we always like easy tips. We don't want complicated tips. <laughs> we always want easy. Everybody wants it done yesterday. Everybody wants it done as soon as possible. We all want to drive by and get that healthy meal, right? So can you tell me and our viewers kind of three easy tips that we can implement to become a healthier version of ourselves or even disease prevention, right? So either we're becoming healthier or we're trying to prevent bad things from happening to us. All right. So the first thing I'll start for um, from is number one, mind your mind. And, and don't 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 lose me here because everything you do starts from a thought, either conscious or subconscious, subconscious. So it's very, very important how you think, what you think about, how long you think about, and what it, it makes you do consciously or subconsciously. So mind your mind. So I'm very, very you know, particular about things I listen to, things I watch on social media, people are allowed to influence me. All right. And I encourage my patients to do the same thing, too. You know, people don't stay self-motivated. You watch people motivate you and you stay motivated. Like even the people who you think are like, man, they're awesome. They must have three brains or something. No, they stay constantly motivated by being encouraged by other people, too. So mind what's on your mind. You know, I, I tell people I, I send people a link to podcasts. I have them read books. 
Um, I, I, you know, have them watch certain things. So be very, very, very conscious about what you allow to influence your thought process. Because if you think you can, you will. If you think it's possible, you will attempt it. And even when it comes to your health, knowing that it's possible to live a better quality of life is very important, regardless of what the diagnosis is. So once you get to that point where you know, okay, I can do something better, then it's a question of, okay, who do I not need to connect with? What do I need to do? And then how do I get there? So number one, mind your mind. Um, number two, I, I can't I can't overemphasize this. I'm not going to call it exercise. I call it move. Just move. <laughs> um, That's so much more compassionate. Move. Just move. You know, I make it fun. You know, dancing. You know, I wear sneakers even with my dresses to work so that I can take a walk around the you know uh, the clinic when I'm taking a the phone call, or I sit to stand, or I walk back and forth. So just move. The more you move, the better. Even with pain, studies show that you know moving actually helps reduce pain. So move. And then number three, um, and this one, this one is is it's hard to kind of pick one of you know one or two, but I, I'll, I'll say this: self care. And hear me out though. <laughs> I I used to think self care is. Um, you know, I, I go go get a massage, get and those are good. Get nails. So I hate getting my nails done. They bite. They it's like someone is poking at my nails. That that is not self care. When I say self care, thinking of things that pour into you, and some of it you may not like. So it was only recently I realized what my self care routine was, because I realized that the massage appointments I couldn't make. Um, you know, when I go to the nail salon, I'm trying to be on my computer and the, the lady's like, dude, what are you doing? Like, could you stop, focus? And I realized self-care were the things that actually helped me thrive, which included my meditative um, practices in the morning, praying, um, and playing the piano and singing off key by myself in the morning. Like, oh my goodness, I enjoy doing that. I have almost two hours to myself in the morning to just do that. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm doing self-care. So what does self-care mean to you? And sometimes there's a simple question, it's as simple as answering the question, what are three things do you do that make you happy? That make you feel good? Just three that are budget friendly and may not even cost you anything that you have easy access to. Write it down and prioritize them. When you pour into yourself, you're able to do the things. There's so many other things I could talk about, but those three are the ones I would say I have found to have the most impact as a starting point for my clients. And then we can talk about the other things. I think that is really um, quite profound, right? So we have one, we're going to mind our minds, right? Um, two, we're going to move. Exercise. Move, right <laughs> and the third one which i kind of feel like that that a lot of us professional uh have to kind of watch that is a self-care is not delaying um till tomorrow um it starts in and, and just creating that space for yourself because i think you know some of us just get out and just keep running uh, mm -hmm. and at uh, bedtime just kind of come home and, and crash so just listening to dr labi talk um, talking about how she plays the piano in the morning. She does her meditation in the morning. I'm inspired. We have to figure out how to get back to my piano classes. But just finding the things. And if for some people, it's the nails, it's the massage. But finding those things that make you happy. Like Dr. Labiton said, three things that make you happy. Because I think once your tank is full, it's almost like once your oxygen is on your face, then you have more to give other mm. people. So mm -hmm. thank you so very much for those three pointers, uh, because I think when this is fine, when the mind is fine, when the self is cared for, then you can actually give to the world. So, mm -hmm. um, so tell me about what, you know, you kind of mentioned it a little bit there. You know, I love my fun questions, superpower. <laughs> what is your superpower? And tell, or what superpower do you wish you had and why? Hmm. My superpower is definitely my faith. But what superpower I wish I had, and, and this is kind of counterintuitive, I wish I didn't need sleep. There's so much I could do. <laughs> oh, my. You just finished telling us about self-care. <laughs> I wish I did, because there's so much. Like, I'm like, oh, maybe I try that. Maybe I try that. You know, but I realized that, that that's not good in itself. But you asked if I wish. I, I actually had someone. I said, you know, I want to pray. Do you pray that I, I have the power not to need sleep? And they looked at me like, no. Even God rested. So no, that's a negative. 
Uh, but hey, I can wish, no? <laughs> you can wish, yes, Julia. <laughs> So getting into my calm, cool by thing, I'm going to meditate in the morning. I'm going to play piano. Now you don't want to be sleeping. <laughs> okay. So wish, Dr. Right? Luckily, luckily, Dr. Labito is not going to get that superpower. But she's got plenty of superpower on her own. Um, and definitely, I really find just, I feel like I'm moved just with the part about the self-care. And I feel like I've learned something that I'm actually going to take and I'm going to use to just improve the quality of my life. And that is what kind of spreads its tentacles to everything else. Yes. So um, Dr. Labita, how are people gonna find you? How are they gonna work with you? Please give us the bean. All right, awesome. If you're looking for a thorough and a passionate and a caring family physician who will help you look and live long and well, I am she. You can find me www.livingspringmedicals.com. Follow me on Facebook, Dr. Tolu Lokwe Labito. You can just Google my name or Facebook, search my name. Um, Living Spring Medicals also on YouTube, on uh, Dr. Labinton on uh, TikTok, on Instagram, and on uh, Facebook. Just just Google me. You you find me in the places. <laughs> Google Dr. Labito. She's everywhere. She's phenomenal. She is caring. She's empathetic. Uh, she has an amazing team that will be willing to work with you. So thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you, Dr. Alabito, for taking time out of your, your... I know how valuable your time is. So really appreciate you coming on to this show. Um, for everybody, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Healthy Joints and Healthy Lifestyle. Share with someone who you think will benefit from this. And please like the video. Thank you, everybody. And we will be bringing you this hints weekly to make sure that everybody is brought along on the, on the journey to healthy versions of ourselves. Bye everybody.